Good morning, everybody, and welcome to this short clip on a topic that is very close to my heart and one that has been frustrating me for years. And that is the process of centering a title block in AutoCAD. So, without further ado, let's jump straight into it. All right, so here we are a brand new drawing in our model space, and everything is going hunky dory. We're creating all of our views, our elevations, etc. And now it's finally time to start actually creating or putting together our drawings and making them print ready. So of course we head out or head over to our layout space. And this is where you set up your viewports, etc. And we need to now set up our page and get ready for printing. So the first thing I'm going to do is delete the viewport. And for now, I'm going to delete our layout too, which is fine. Go to my output tab, go to page setup manager. I see, okay, I'm not happy with the size. I'm going to modify that select my DWG to PDF monochrome, and then select an ISO, expand A1, so 841 by 594 and hit OK. Right, so you might have a generic title block that you're gonna place here. You might, you might be creating a title block from scratch. The problem is that right here, right now, there's nothing to snap to. So even though these lines do indicate the print margins, you can't snap to them, which is incredibly frustrating. And if you are anything like me, I, I just, I'm just not satisfied with trying to ballpark a 10 mil gap between that line and um, just my title block. So I don't like this. I don't like having to zoom in there and, and uh, cool. Okay. We snap there. And the moment I get closer, it's slightly off. Ugh, it is the worst thing ever. And actually for a long time now, I've just not known how to center my title block or the boundaries of my title block. And actually, it is quite easy. All right, so go to Output, go to Page Setup Manager, you go to Modify, and you go to Properties. And here you'll see for your specific paper size and the specific paper that you've selected, or paper size that you've selected, there's a printable, printable bounce, 831 by 574. And you can write that down. And what that indicates is it indicates the dimension of this outline over here. And the nice thing is that this outline has an origin. So zero, zero sits over there. So now what we can do, we can go to our model space and we can create a rectangle with those dimensions. So it should be 831. by 574. You want to select your rectangle, go Control Shift C, specify the base point, go to your layout or your paper space, Control Shift V, and then there you see it says specify insertion point. You can go zero, tab, so T-A-B, zero, and hit enter. And there you go. See, it's perfectly on those bounds. So this is a block now because you used the Control Shift C command. All that you need to do now is you can explode it and then you can use your offset. So let's use an offset of 20 mil. Delete those outside lines just to make the next step easier. Hit my trim. And there you go, a perfectly centered title block boundary. And you can even use this method just to get the center of the page even, to place your generic title block in there. So I really hope that that helps. Please throw a thumbs up and throw some comments in there if there's anything you'd like to add. But I really hope, yeah, I was extremely relieved myself when I found, when I found out that there's a way to do this. And I really hope that you get to experience the same relief I did. So yeah, thank you so much for joining in. Remember to subscribe and then I'll see you around in future clips.